That's more better. Got all that. I even I wasn't gonna do up there, but I decided to put a second coat up there too, and I got just a little bit left out of the second gallon, and that's all. But I've I've still got I got a little bit more. I got another coat to do up there, and I've got a few other places later on to use my primer. So I'm hopefully hoping that. I'll have enough. If not, I'll have to go back to the store and get some more paint. But after this dries, it's going to be my next step to this project. I hope you can join me for that. Good grief. Looks like I'm ready to do some more damage down here. Now that I've got everything painted, I even went this morning and painted this top thing, I even put uh, liquid nails in where there was cracks and stuff. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fix that little area right there before I put the two by six along there, that ledger. But enough of that, I'm not even concerned about that right now. The next thing, the very next thing, which is the first thing of doing the framing, okay? getting ready to do that and I need to get these steps in because you remember these these stair treads there's two of them that I took out one two I got to get those back in and the stair treads kind of got built into this wall it's kind of funky how they did that but they decided to do that here's a stair tread and see it goes it goes all the way back about an inch away from the uh, the siding. See, here's another one. See this? The wall is actually about there, see? And that goes in underneath that stucco. And so to get that 4x12 in there, I wanted it straight. And if I if I build this column, if I build this column out, then I can't put those in because I've, I've got to stick it in this way and then swing the end over and and then the next one do the same thing up in there so where this cavity is remember I took off all this this was just a little section here that was framed up for the stucco on the side there and I've got to get that in first because if I put these beams in the, the 4x12s then I can't really get up in there too well and do that so I want to put, uh, I, I want to match this. These are two by eights, seven and a quarter inches wide. And that's what a suit two by eight is called. And remember I took the back of the plywood off up here because it was all rotted. I want to put that back in. Not that it matters that much because if I was just careful with this, it's probably never going to cave in. But the best thing to do is to put that piece up in there first you know up to here and then I would sandwich the two by sixes two by eights up in there and somehow I got to get it all attached properly and once I once I uh, I get that in there then I can swivel these these uh, stair treads in here and see the stair tread is gonna fit right in there and I see there's a nail poking out right there and there's a nail poking out right there and that might prevent this this tread to go in all the way. And so I guess I'm gonna to have to notch those, cut those out. Any idea how I'm gonna cut those out? Yeah, my sawzall. My sawzall here, I got a metal cutting blade in there. If you didn't have a sawzall, what else what else could you use? You could you could take a hacksaw blade if you wanted. And you could just put the hacksaw blade in your hands and just use it as a saw and cut those two off. I've done it before. Okay, but since I have the saws all here, I'm gonna cut those off and figure out what to do next. I think the next thing I'll have to do is put this plywood on the back side here. So I'm gonna have to cut a scrap and then I can hold it on the back side and I can just trace it out with the pencil, you know? and then I can cut that out with my skill saw and I don't have a jigsaw I should have got a jigsaw but I don't have one 
very seldom do you need a jigsaw. What else could I use? Yeah, guess I could use my sawzall again. Use a different type of blade, drill some holes in it uh, to cut out where the notches are and that kind of stuff, okay? So that's what my project is today. I'm gonna have to do that, put these two by eights up in there and then I wanna I wanna get this 4x12 in here and then figure out what to do after after the 4x12 because then there's the riser so that I can attach the riser and get ready to put the next 4x12 in and and see I can build that because once I get the 4x12 in here I can support it on this edge with the clip and stuff and then I can attach the next thing and then I could actually Put the next 4x12 in before I even fix these stringers because those will go all the way in and the weight of it will be held here and so see then I'll have to put the 2x6s in here in the in the wall here so that's that's probably the first thing I need to do is put this OSB in plywood here and then you see this OSB goes up underneath the 2x8s and so then I'll have to put two pieces of 2x8 up to here and I'll have to cut those back at a 45 degree angle and somehow I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that with my little circular saw because this is all I have I used to had have a construction uh, commercial type construction skill saw 77 I don't have it anymore and I got just this so I'm pretty sure I can do it because I can I can adjust this I can take that and that'll swivel that'll swivel this over you'll, you'll see Okay, so then I'll so then I'll put the two by eights in. Then I've got to cut this OSB plywood, a new piece from here, oh, just over to here because eventually, I know that. See uh, all the way up in there. I'm going to rebuild all this. I'm going to put all the wood back in there, just like this OSB plywood. I'm going to have to put another piece over here, over here, too, and and up there. You see that OSB actually comes down, comes through here, and comes all the way down. This two by six, and it makes and it will make a box. So I have to build all that, but I can't build that box until I get these two stairs in. Okay, so it's it's kind of a a tricky little situation here building building back from the stucco back. It, generally, it's not done, you know, because you build from the outside out before you put this paper on before you put the stucco on and all that kind of stuff and I'm trying to save all that because of all of this water damage and when you first saw this project you might have thought well wow, it's possible how, how is he gonna fix all that well so far it looks pretty clean huh of what I've done so far if you haven't been watching the videos you can check back on the videos and see what it looked like before I started and all the stuff I had to take out. Now I have to rebuild things and put it all back together. Okay, and so what I also have to keep in mind is before I cut my my OSB plywood, I can't just cut it willy-nilly out of sheets because I've got I've got three sheets, three four by eight sheets to use, and I'm gonna hope that I can use it strategically and get this all done without having to go back to the store and get some more. So so I've got to I've got to kind of figure out, and I already I already sort of figured it out, uh, how how to come out of here with with three pieces because it was just just a little over, I think uh, what was it? Let's see, 18 inches, and I know that side comes out 18 inches, and then this here, this is 18 inches. So, um, see, I can only get two 18-inch pieces out of a 4 by 8 sheet because 18 and 18 is 36, and 36 is 3 feet, see? And then I've only got 12 inches left. So I'm like, well, how, how am I, I going to do this exactly? And... I've got 12 inches left and I was hoping that this little column over here I could use a last piece 
of the 12 inches over here and I'm trying to get my tape in there and not to not to disturb you now see that's 12 inches right there and this one over here I think is 12 no see that's 13 inches that's 13 inches to there and so on one sheet I can get the I can get two pieces 18 inches and 18 and then use the 12 inch piece here okay minus my saw blade cuts so I know that's that's one whole sheet taken up right there and then I've got you know 13 inches plus a half inch where the OSB sticks out that's 13 and a half and you know I'm pretty sure I've, I'm pretty sure I've got enough Cause see this here is a shy 18 so when I cut when I cut it I've got no more than 18 inches so that's just fine this side is the same thing so that's gonna get me exactly what I need and then this was 18 plus half and half because the OSB comes here and here that's 19 inches plus you know 14 inches over there 33 and I got 15 inches left so see I got I got to figure all this kind of stuff out because I also want to have a piece you know over here that's 16 16 and a half 16 three quarters and so I've got once I once I cut this I've got to figure out where to cut it where not to cut the sheet to make sure that I'm gonna have enough and that's six feet tall and so that's what I'll do is I'll cut that piece you know 16 and a half it looks like and or 16 and 3 eighths or so and then from that scrap I'll be able to I'll be able to use the scrap piece for up in here I can't just cut it straight off the end of a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood okay so when you get ready to do your project Make sure when you measure everything out, get the right materials at the store. If you got any questions, get just a little bit more material. You can always, you can always take a sheet of OSB plywood back. They'll take it back. If you don't need it, that's fine. That's fine too. You just take it back. And if you do need it, good. You're just like, man, I'm sure glad I got that because I don't want to piecemeal this stuff in. I want to get this in with one piece preferably because on the back side of that um, this was the paper and I painted that I put two coats on that that was that black tar paper but that, that's not gonna stop any leaks if the stucco were to leak and you always want to be careful to always remember to think about stuff like that because if it does leak where's the water gonna go it's gonna we don't want it to come on the inside of this and then get to the back side of the, our new OSB plywood. So uh, when I went to the store, I actually got me some craft paper and it's called rosin paper. And it looks kind of like this, but the roll is really super big. This is, this is just the last little bit of a small roll that I have. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up using that. And once I cut this plywood, and the top pieces I'm gonna put I'm gonna put craft paper that rosin paper on it and I'm gonna staple it to the back of it and run it in here so that it water does leak through here it's gonna come it won't come and hit the back side and run down the back side of the OSB plywood it's gonna run down the new the new paper instead yeah, I'm listening to the song, Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow. And I won't. But that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back tomorrow.
with more videos.